Having complete control over all of your audio sources is the best way to take your live stream and your content to the next level. And so today I'm going to show you how you can separate all of your audio sources being your mic, your music, your gameplay, or any audio source directly inside of OBS Studios. Okay, so the very first thing we want to do inside of OBS Studios is we want to click on the settings icons on the bottom right hand corner. From there, a window is going to pop up and we then want to go over to our audio tab. Inside the audio section, you want to make sure that you have your desktop audio set to disabled. The reason why we want to disable the desktop audio is because everything that we hear inside of our headphones as well as through our speakers on our PC is going to be within the desktop audio. So that's music, your game volume, your discord call, your game chat, all of that will be within the desktop audio and you'll have no control over how loud or quiet something is. So we want to go ahead and disable that because we're going to be doing that individually. Now for your mic auxiliary audio, you want to make sure you have this set to your microphone and then you want to go ahead and click apply and okay. And so what we're going to do next is we want to create a new scene and this is going to be completely separate because we are basically going to be utilizing a nested scene to basically copy and paste this into whatever sources that we want. So come down to the scene tab, click on the plus icon, name this either nested scene or audio scene, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to go ahead and do nested scene. And then inside the nested scene, you want to go over to your sources. You want to click on this plus icon and there's going to be two things that we're going to utilize inside this video. And once we're done setting this up, you will never have to touch this ever again. I promise. So what you're going to do is you're going to first look for application audio capture beta. And then you're also going to look for application audio output capture. If you do not have these, and the first thing that I recommend doing is coming up to the help section at the very top of OBS. You want to come down and you want to check for updates. And if you have an update, go ahead and update your OBS studios because the newer OBS should have those automatically installed. If you do not have this, then go into the description of this video and it's going to bring you to this particular page right here, which is going to have you download the win capture audio beta. And the only thing you're going to do is just click right here for the executable file, or you can do the zip file if you want to drag this directly inside of uh, your OBS folder. And so now once you have the application downloaded, what you're going to do is reset your OBS. You are then going to come back into your sources inside of your nested scene, click on a plus icon, and you should see both of the applications right here. Now, what you're going to do is click on the application audio capture beta. You want to go ahead and name this whatever you want. We're going to start off with the music audio. So I'm going to go ahead and name this music. And so what you're going to do inside the Windows tab is you want to search for either uh, Spotify or your Apple Music since this is what you normally use to play music. So you want to make sure that it has an executable file right here. It's just a Spotify.executable or Apple Music.executable. Go ahead and click that. If you do not see that, then that means that you need to go ahead and open up your Spotify or open up your Apple Music really quickly. So go ahead and open that and then come back to this window and you should be able to see it. And then from there, go ahead and do the window match priority. You want to make sure you set that to the match title. Otherwise, find window of same executable. The reason why you want to make sure you have that set is because let's say you close out of your music player. You can open it back up on any song, literally any song and it will just continue right where it needs to be. So you don't have to worry about it ever not working again because it's automatically just work whenever you open up your music player. So go ahead and click OK. And now you should see the music tab. So now if I were to open up my Spotify and if I were to play some kind of music, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this right here. If I were to just play a song, you should now be able to see that the music is playing right here. And so it is now working. It's completely 100% independent from any other source that I have. So now we're going to do the same exact thing for our discord as well as for our web browser. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in our alert. 
So for the alerts, it has to be your browser source um, because if you're utilizing stream elements or uh, I believe it's Nightbot, you have to copy a link to place that inside of OBS. So go ahead and do the browser and then do alerts. And then go ahead and copy and paste your URL right here. And so to make sure that it has its own audio track, we want to go ahead and we want to check this box right here, which says to control audio via a OBS. So go ahead and click this and then click on OK. And so now that your alerts have been added, you should now have one, two, three, four type of audio sources. Now, the very last thing is our gameplay. Now, the reason why we're saving this for last is because we now have everything pulled up here. We're going to go ahead and do the application audio output capture. What this is going to do, let's go ahead and name this gameplay. And what this is going to do is basically you can either select everything inside the session right here. And it's either going to do two things. It's going to capture all of the audio out of everything you selected here, or it's going to invert it and it's going to select nothing out of here. So that's what we want. We want to go ahead and we want to select every single one of these and we want to add them inside of the executable. So for example, Chrome, just add them all, add them all. Now we're going to go ahead and click this option right here that says capture all audio except the sessions from the selected executables, which means that it's going to capture absolutely nothing inside of this box. So go ahead and check this. Okay. So everything that you're going to be utilizing during your stream, make sure you have it all up. That's YouTube, you Google Chrome, make sure you have your Spotify, your discord, all of that up. Make sure everything is up because if you do not have it pulled up, then the OBS software is not going to be able to detect the browser sources that you're going to be utilizing. And so you won't be able to add it into the session. So make sure you add it into the executable and then go ahead and click OK. So now if you went ahead and you tested out the alert, so I'm going to go ahead and test this out right here. And so now you'll see that the only thing that moved was the alert audio output, which is exactly what we want. Now, if your browser source did move, then that's because you have the actual website pulled up. You need to go ahead and close that and then you'll never have to worry about that again. Now, what we need to do here is we need to go ahead and create a new scene since we're done with all of our sources here. And then inside of the gameplay scene that we're going to create, we need to go ahead and add all of those sources inside of this particular scene. So what we're going to do is click on the plus icon. We're going to come up to scene and then you're going to find your nested scene or your audio scene, which I have mine right here. Click OK. And you will now see that all of your audio that you created in a previous scene is now here. So just so that way you guys can see everything, I'm going to go ahead and change this layout. And so now you can see that the only thing moving is my microphone. I'm going to go ahead and upload a game so that way you can see how all of this works together. Okay. So I'm now officially loaded up into the finals. And so what you can see right now is not only the gameplay is moving separately on its own, but also my microphone is moving on its own. So now I have control over my music because I can come back inside of OBS. I can change the volume to turn this how loud or how quiet as I want it to be. The game volume has its own audio. And so if I were to have somebody in my discord, you will see that the discord audio will be moving on its own. So now we need to make sure that our vibes don't get muted whenever our streams get uploaded to Twitch. And we have full control over our audio for when we are recording our gameplay inside of OBS so that we can export it over to our video editor. And so what we need to do is come back to our settings tab. We now need to come up to output. And from here, we need to make sure that we're up under our streaming tab and set your audio track to one. This is where all of your audio is going to come from whenever you're live. So we have to make sure this is set to one. Come down to your Twitch VOD track. Make sure this is turned on and set this to two. This is going to be our VOD track audio. So we want to make sure that we set this separately from our audio track so that way everything does not get uploaded. Now inside of your recording tab, you want to make sure you have that set for three, four, five, and six. 
it is very important we have this set for three four five and six so once you have that done select apply and then do okay now from here you're going to come down to your audio mixer and you're going to select the gear icon right here and it's going to bring up your advanced audio properties from here you'll have six tracks you want to make sure that tracks one is all the way checked track two you want everything checked but your music volume if you have the music one checked then nine times out of ten your vod is going to get muted for copyrighted songs so make sure that you have two unchecked and then for three you want to have your discord your gameplay as well as your microphone set for four you want to have your browser source five you want to have your alerts and six you want to have your music so whenever you upload any type of recordings inside of let's say davinci resolve or adobe premiere pro you will have four different audio tracks and each one will be for everything that we have set so once that's done go ahead and click close and you are basically now done you have separated all of your audio sources directly inside of obs so the very last thing that you just need to do is just play around with the audio levels so that way you're not blowing out anybody's eardrum the best way you can do that is by clicking on the three dots under each audio mixer and adding a filter and the filters you're going to add is either going to be a limiter or a compressor and so with that being said that is going to be all for today's video now if you made it to the end or if you found this helpful make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel and if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments down below or feel free to join my Discord server as I do offer one-on-one -on -one help in that server as well. It's a place for you guys to go hang out and I can offer any help for you as well. Now, if you wanna know what the best settings are for setting up your microphone, make sure you click on this video right here and I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how you're able to do that directly inside of OBS Studios.